The Wild Pig Test 36 Cars A wild pig crossing. Only one car avoided it. This isn't a joke. It's the most intense real-world Udash test ever stage. China's massive Udash test. 36 cars, 15 hazard scenarios, and 216 crashes. Tesla tops, industry shaken. In a groundbreaking event unlike anything seen before in the automotive world, China has pulled back the curtain on the true capabilities and shocking limitations of today's driver assistance systems. The largest real-world advanced driver assistance system, Adosh, evaluation ever conducted has just concluded on Chinese highways and city streets, and the results are as alarming as they are revealing. Conducted by Chinese media outlet Dungchedi, this extraordinary Udash trial involved 36 different vehicles, spanning electric flagships to budget offerings, and subjected them to 15 extreme, real-world hazard simulations. These weren't lab-controlled environments. These were real highways, real danger, real crashes, and in total, a staggering 216 collisions. Let that sink in. 216 failures to respond adequately to driving conditions that real humans face every day. This wasn't some soft demonstration of lane centering or adaptive crews. These were brutal, high-stakes tests replicating the most unpredictable and deadly challenges on the road. Construction zones with trucks jutting into lanes, wild pigs darting across highways, blind U-turns, and broken-down cars blocking traffic at night. Every situation mirrored reality with eerie precision, and the results forced the industry to confront a hard truth. Most driver assist systems aren't ready for the chaos of real-world roads. 36 cars enter the gauntlet. The Dungchedi team closed an actual public highway in China and transformed it into a danger simulation lab. Over multiple days, they ran 36 cars from various automakers, including Tesla, BYD, Xpeng, NIO, Mercedes-Benz, Toyota, and Xiaomi. Through six complex highway scenarios and nine urban challenges. Each vehicle's Udash was fully engaged. The goal was to assess how well these systems could handle long-tail scenarios, rare, unpredictable situations that human drivers must confront with instinct and experience. These situations are precisely where Udash is marketed to shine, promising faster reactions and more accurate decisions. The six highway challenges included 1. A leading vehicle suddenly swerving to reveal a stopped car ahead. 2. A surprise construction zone requiring a rapid merge. 3. A nighttime encounter with a truck partially blocking the lane. 4. A crashed vehicle spanning multiple lanes. 5. An aggressive car cutting in from an on-ramp. 6. And yes, a wild pig running across the highway. Urban testing added further stress. Crossing children, blind U-turns, aggressive e-bikes, and sudden pedestrian intrusions. These scenarios revealed a critical truth. Most Udash systems buckle under real pressure. The scoreboard. Who survived, and who crashed? Of the 36 vehicles tested, only two stood out above the rest. Tesla's Model X and Model 3. Both vehicles passed five out of six highway tests, with the Model X being the only car to successfully avoid a collision with the bore. These Teslas managed all this despite lacking litter or radar relying solely on Tesla's controversial vision-based full self-driving FSD system. Close behind were vehicles equipped with Huawei's ad systems, namely the Luxeed R7 and Avatar 12, each scoring 7 out of 9 in urban tests. Meanwhile, bottom-tier performers included some major disappointments. The Zeker 7X, BYD Song Pro DM, on DOL 60, and the Mercedes-Benz C-Class all failed to complete a single scenario. Perhaps more disturbing was the inconsistency. Cars from the same brand, running supposedly identical Udash systems, behaved very differently in similar scenarios. Aito's lineup is a prime example. The top-tier M9 passed three highway scenarios, while the cheaper M8 only passed one. The M7, bizarrely, did better than the M8 despite having older hardware. This suggests either subtle differences in hardware calibration or, more ominously, flaws in the underlying machine learning. The result? Unpredictability. Systems trained to learn how to drive don't necessarily know why they're making decisions. And that spells danger. 216 crashes, one conclusion. Adosh isn't ready. The sheer number of collisions during the tests is staggering. Though the figure, 216 crashes, 
might be somewhat symbolic, as not every car completed every scenario, it paints a clear picture. Most current UDOSH systems are not equipped to reliably handle edge case hazards. These aren't just failures, they're dangerous misjudgments. For instance, many vehicles attempted to swerve before braking when facing a hazard, despite having no room to merge. This behavior, while mimicking human error, directly contradicts the expectation that machines should outperform us in emergency response. In many cases, vehicles tried to merge into adjacent lanes already occupied by test cars, risking secondary collisions. Others delayed braking entirely, unsure whether to swerve or stop, losing precious milliseconds in the process. The Xiaomi SU7 in Test 1 illustrated this vividly. It activated emergency braking, then inexplicably stopped decelerating, then slammed the brakes again, too late to avoid a crash. This indecision is more than a glitch. It's a symptom of machine learning models operating without hard-coded safety priorities. Unlike rule-based systems, these AI models don't follow logical flowcharts. They follow patterns, and those patterns can be inconsistent. As Lu Guangquan, a professor at Beijing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics, put it, a learning model is just collecting experience. It knows how to drive but not why. That 1% risk, once it happens, can lead to 100% casualties. Why Tesla performed so well? Despite its many controversies, Tesla emerged as the clear winner. Both the Model X and Model 3 were remarkably consistent, especially considering they rely solely on camera vision, no litter, no radar. Tesla's edge likely comes from its enormous real-world data advantage. With over a decade of driver assist telemetry, Tesla has amassed billions of real-world miles to feed its neural nets. While others are still fine-tuning simulation models, Tesla's FSD learns directly from the streets. Still, the brand isn't perfect. The Model X failed the well-marked construction zone test. The Model 3 failed the bore scenario. The results prove that even Tesla's vaunted FSD still has limitations, and crucially, it's not infallible. The industry's wake-up call. Dung Chetty's video, now trending on Dcar Studio's YouTube channel, is more than a viral hit. It's a full frontal challenge to the global auto industry. In an age where companies advertise hands-free and self-driving capabilities, this test is a reality check. The marketing has run too far ahead of the technology. What consumers are buying are level 2 driver assistance systems, but what they think they're getting is near autonomy. And that's a fatal misunderstanding. The final message in Dung Chetty's video? It wasn't a Tesla victory lap or a Huawei ad. It was a sober warning. Udosh is a driving assistant, not a replacement. Until these systems can handle every edge case, hands on the wheel and eyes on the road must remain the rule. What do I think about this? Honestly, this test blew my mind. I've covered a lot of EV news and driver assist tech, but nothing, nothing, comes close to the scale and raw honesty of this Chinese Udosh test. This wasn't a staged lab demo. It wasn't flashy PR from an automaker. It was 36 cars thrown into the chaos of real-world driving, with 15 unpredictable hazard scenarios, and most of them crashed. I expected the cheaper EVs to struggle. What I didn't expect was to see Mercedes-Benz, BYD, Xpeng, and even litter-equipped cars fail basic avoidance tasks. Wild pigs, crashed cars on dark highways, construction zones. These are the situations marketing never talks about. And yes, Tesla came out on top, but even Tesla wasn't perfect. That alone tells you something. Udosh systems are being sold to us as if they're one software update away from replacing human drivers. But this test proves we're nowhere near that. For me, this wasn't just a data dump. It was a reality check. A reminder that self-driving still means driver assist, not driver replacement. Conclusion. The mirage of self-driving hype. In the end, China's great Udosh experiment served a single, critical purpose. It exposed the illusion of readiness. It reminded us that real roads are chaotic and full of unpredictable hazards, and no software today, no matter how advanced, can guarantee safety without human oversight. This is not a step back from autonomy, it's a challenge to improve. A wake-up call for automakers to refine, retrain, and retest. For regulators to tighten claims around autonomy. And for drivers to stay alert, no matter how smart their car may seem. Because in the real world, it only takes one mistake, one bore, one stalled car, one missed decision,
for the illusion to shatter. And when it does, the consequences are very real.